Hi, everybody. It is March 29, 2019. I received this email today. Hello, ma'am. Here is some news that happened a mile from home. His home. Last night at 11.30 p.m., loud booms are heard and military aircraft fly noisily past. Several booms are heard within first 10 minutes and helicopters continue to ramble about until 12.30 a.m. We got no warning here. Supposedly, they gave out some flyers to some nearby residents earlier in the day. Another drill like they did in Los Angeles. So, let's listen to this. Taking place. We should also mention all of the residents we have... Sorry. Explosions and gunshots woke some Raleigh residents. The loud noises were heard in this area off Capitol Boulevard. And now officials say it was all part of a planned military exercise. WRL's Adam Owens is live in Raleigh with how it scared a lot of people who didn't know what was going on. Adam. Renee, it was planned, it was an exercise, but at the time, some residents in this area along Capitol Boulevard tell me they thought the city was at war when they heard the helicopters and explosions, and some say they had no clue a training exercise was taking place. Neighbors say they saw those helicopters, they heard those blasts and those bangs at Capitol Plaza. That's an old hotel that has been empty for some time now. City officials tell me the exercise involved elements of the Army in coordination with the city of Raleigh and Raleigh police. They say there were simulated munitions and aircraft that were involved. They tell us the Army notified area businesses and homeowners yesterday afternoon, but that would have been just hours before everything started around 1130 last night and stretched into the early morning hours, according to residents. Some city leaders tell me they did alert some residents days before this exercise took place, but other folks in this area tell me they did not get that message. One of the neighbor's daughters is eight months pregnant with her first pregnancy, and she, she was having trouble breathing. We were afraid she was going to go into premature labor. Um, one of the neighbors had his guns out. I mean, it was crazy. We, we didn't know what was going on, and we didn't get any notice. And you're looking right now again at that old hotel where all of this took place. You can only imagine what that was like last night. Uh, we are still working to try to understand by talking to the military and talking to the city how large an area of residents were warned that this exercise was taking place. We should also mention all of the residents we have talked to about what happened last night. They all agree that they support the military. They do believe that these exercises are very important for their readiness. They support all of that. They just wish they had known that this was coming their way back to oh they wish they had known this was coming their way but everyone everyone supports the military there are a lot of uh military bases south carolina north carolina this is deliberate intentional to keep americans traumatized very easy to manipulate traumatized people why we should sue the military, sue the city of Raleigh, emotional distress. Uh, this is insane. This is uh, utterly insane. Now, the other article that I read on this, the notices apparently went out sometime in the day and residents that were interviewed for that article, my subscriber, no one got notices. Who got the notice then? How do you, how do you plan explosions, helicopters flying low, and simulated um, assault weapon firing? I don't know what they called it, but it was uh, simulated firing. How do you plan that and then not notify residents? How could it possibly have been like a mistake? This is deliberate. It's deliberate. Also in South Carolina, this was posted today. Mysterious boom heard in low, hun uh, low country, low country residents reported hearing a loud boom Friday morning. People in North Charleston, Mount Pleasant, West Ashley, 
reported hearing the boom and feeling brief shaking just after 8.30 a.m., most likely a sonic boom from an aircraft offshore. And that was a professor uh, from College of Charleston, Department of Geology and Environmental Geosciences. <clears throat> but what the professor said was also um, stated by officials at Joint Base Charleston. They too heard the boom and agreed it was most likely an aircraft, but say it wasn't one of theirs. Also, the Marine Corps, Air Station, Beaufort, um, Beaufort, Shaw Air Force Base, McIntyre Joint National Guard, they all say none of their planes could have created a sonic boom along the South Carolina coast this morning. So the big boom remains a mystery. Is it really a mystery? This is what was taking place this morning in South Carolina. You cross these laser beams and you can get a loud boom. We are at war. Those of you in Raleigh, uh, North Carolina, you thinking, oh my God, we're at war. We are at war. We've been at war for a very, very long time. It's just that they're using unconventional weapons that you can see right here. They're using these frequencies as weapons. They're using weather as weapons. As a weapon. And 99.99999% of the weapons in this unconventional war are unfortunately not the bombs dropping the explosions that one would hear in war not not gunfire that's the only thing that people see as war they can't they couldn't think outside the box please we are at war and these frequencies are being used so what else do i have for you south carolina Officials say proposed offshore testing will kill marine life, destroy South Carolina's coastal economy. Sixteen communities seek to block seismic testing, offshore drilling off South Carolina coast. Trump is in town, and you can fight all you want. There are lawsuits. There are uh, states from Delaware to Florida trying to stop this offshore drilling and it ain't going to happen, and I'm going to tell you why. So, a motion for an injunction to stop seismic surveying off South Carolina's coast joins a lawsuit on behalf of 16 coastal communities and businesses asking that seismic blasting be prevented. Seismic blasts drive away fish, whales, dolphins. That help support the fishing and tourism industries along the coast. A motion for injunction follow the Trump administration unveiling in January a new five-year plan to allow more drilling in the Atlantic, Pacific, and Arctic Oceans. Yay! This is the start on looking at American energy dominance. Well, that was our former Interior Secretary, Ryan Z. Zink. Oh, he stepped down. Ethics. Probe. Drain the swamp and fill up another swamp. Who is going to be taking his place? None other than David Bernhardt, who is now acting Secretary of the Interior. He was nominated. Trump nominated him to be the replacement for Zinc. After Zinc left, December 2018, a string of ethics probes. And who is David Bernhardt? Represented and lobbied for oil and mining companies. Clients include a bevy of oil industry giants, uh, Halliburton, Samsung, Resources. At a private meeting in 2017, Barry Russell, 
the political director of Independent Petroleum Association of America told members that the organization had direct access to Bernhardt. Yay! And he's going to get the job done for us. So, Delaware to Florida, you can forget about it because Trump is going to get the job done. Yeah. They had conversations with Bernhardt about issues ranging from federal land access to endangered species to a lot of issues. Bernhardt has a relationship with Nestle's. 150 environmental groups opposed his nomination as Dep Deputy Secretary uh, 2017. They couldn't get it stopped. He is laden with conflicts of interest citing his ties to clients regulated by the Department of Interior. And you can read more. You can read a whole lot more. Another, another, well, pig in the swamp. No, I don't even want to say pig because pigs are, pigs are good. Pigs are smart. Just another swamp, subhuman creature. Coalition asks federal judge to stop offshore seismic air gun blasting. If you want to know about seismic air gun blasting, click on the link below. A review of the impacts of seismic air gun surveys on marine life. Not good. Not good at all. Not good at all. So, uh, let's see. Air guns for seismic surveys from Delaware to Central Florida. Uh, these seismic air guns pulse. Pulse every 10 seconds, 24-7 for long periods of time. Weeks or months looking for oil and low frequencies. Uh, 2014 edition of Science Notes, a newsletter published by the Federal Government's Bureau of Ocean Energy Management, an agency representative wrote that in more than 30 years of air gun use, there has been no documented scientific evidence of the noise adversely affecting marine animal populations or coastal communities. A lie. A lie. So even New Jersey late last year joined a federal lawsuit with Connecticut, Delaware, Maine, Maryland, Massachusetts, New York, North Carolina, Virginia to block this offshore seismic testing. And you know what? The seismic testing, they have already learned that it has killed an awful lot of whales, dolphins, marine life. Offshore drilling plan on Atlantic coast expected soon. This was posted today. A proposed federal plan from President Donald Trump to allow offshore drilling of the Atlantic coast is expected to be released soon. Now that Interior Secretary nominee David Bernhardt has had his Senate hearing, North Carolina and eight other Atlantic Coast states, including South Carolina, are part of a lawsuit against Trump's offshore drilling plan, which was first drafted last year. They want to stop seismic testing and potential drilling off the East Coast. And after the proposed plan is released, there will be a 90-day comment period. I'm telling you, it's going to go through. Um, so these air guns uh, produce a sound uh, in the low frequency range. Sonar. Well, Navy proposal to build an Atlantic sonar training range off the coast of North Carolina has used flawed science to play down sonar's often fatal danger to whales and ignored 
the, the facility's potential impact on local marine ecosystems. Navy's environmental impact assessment for the proposed new sonar test range underestimated the impact of the sonar site on whales by an enormous margin, claiming that no harm would come to whales from noise 100 times as high as the level recommended by NOAA. No harm. Even though that harm has been documented, I have posted videos on the sonar testing and how many whales and dolphins and marine life our Navy is killing. Our Navy is killing. Navy has denied scientific evidence of environmental damage caused by sonar. The National Resources Defense Council reported that mass strandings and often deaths of whales have been linked to military sonar use on at least 12 occasions in the Bahamas, uh, Madeira, Greece, the U.S. Virgin Islands, Canary Islands, the U.S. Northwest Coast, North Carolina. Time and again, however, the Navy has chosen to ignore, ignore or minimize the role of its sonar systems in these whale massacres. And the seismic air gun blasts, well, I don't know what the hell happened to an article that I had highlighted and I was going to work off of, but I don't know where it went. Okay, well, that's gone. But uh, that article was all about all of the marine life that is affected, but especially the highly endangered right whale right whale and unbelievably unbelievably our navy has said that we watch we look to see if there are any dolphins or whales around before we conduct our tests now the air gun blasts the seismic air gun blasts, 10 seconds, every 10 seconds, or 16 seconds, 24 7 for weeks or months on end. Okay. It really is very, very upsetting. Our, our government just loves to kill. <laughs> How many times have we heard, oh, we've got to save, you know, this specific turtle. So the BLM tries to steal land from ranchers or, oh, endangered species. Well, it's all bullshit. Trump opens sage grouse habitat to oil and gas drilling. Now, I posted a video, I think, yesterday about Trump's land grab. That was what he campaigned about. Putting a stop to those land grabs. Trump is a land grabber. Grabbed a whole lot of land. Designating that land as uh, national monuments, um, just protected land. The federal government just takes away land, designates it, and then opens it up for oil and gas drilling. Interior Department finalized changes Friday to protections for the sage grouse bird, which could open lands in seven, seven western states to oil and gas drilling. And who wrote the details of those changes? None other than David Bernhardt. As part of its ongoing campaign to hand over public lands to fossil fuel companies, this administration is rolling back sage grouse protections that many stakeholders created together through a long and deliberative process, Acting Secretary David Bernhardt. His clients want to drill for gas and oil. 
All right, guys. You know, this could very well be the source of the loud booms heard early this morning. This is also whether these frequencies are emitted into the atmosphere or these uh, extremely low frequencies can be emitted through the ground into the ocean. It affects all life, not just the two-legged. And I sure wish that we could bring back some something moral and decent. I'm afraid things are just going to get worse and worse. Darker and darker. And it's going to be really hard to take so we've got to support one another support one another just to get through what we are living it's unbelievable oh by the way of course you know people are concerned about that oil you know rigging off the atlantic uh considering you know what happened in the gulf bp right could we have another bp of course we could those who are supporting the rigging jobs that's what it comes down to jobs can we not think of some other way to um, create jobs without killing life there's got to be another way how about fighting your states and the federal government you know those uh, regulations that Americans are uh, strapped, trapped, they can't, you know, uh, start their own businesses because of the regulations and the fees and the fines and the permits and yada, yada, yada. How about we get rid of those? Hey, Trump, those regulations. I think people were talking about those regulations. That, those are the regulations Americans wanted you to do away with, not these regulations, not, you know, regulations that uh, prevent chemical companies from using more and more pesticides and all. No, not those regulations. The regulations that literally prohibit the ordinary American from working on their own, starting up a business. All links are below.